Cause she's always on the gram at a man popping up like a promo. I got her covered in Da Vinci. Hello, everyone here, and welcome back to another video. And today's video is gonna be another year seven versus year 11. However, this time it's at school prom. Now, I know the title says school prom, and most of you might be like, well, we didn't have a school prom in year seven. What are you talking about? Basically, I'm on about school disco, school prom, same type of thing. You know, year six prom, year six school disco compared to like year 11 school prom type of thing. When I do these year seven versus year 11 videos, it's not actually, doesn't always have to actually be year seven versus year 11. I basically just mean compared to when you're older, compared to when you're younger. So don't take it too literal, just like the younger, older age gap is what I mean. It's just year 7 versus year 11 does better in the searches for my channel personally. So yeah, we're going to call it year 7 versus year 11. Nevertheless, before we get this video, let's see if we can smash 40,000 likes share. Smash the like button right now. Be much appreciated if we get it at 40k. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, so the first thing that changes you yeah, from year 7 to year 11 or when you're older and you're younger at school disco type thing is asking someone to prom or like bringing your girlfriend or boyfriend there or just meeting them there. You know, when you're younger, most of the time this is your opportunity to kiss or actually talk face to face to the girl that you've been talking to. Because most of the time when you're younger, a lot of your relationships are over the phone or over Snapchat because you ain't got the bollocks to talk to them in real life. Let's face it, that's the way it is. However, that would be the case, yeah, if your mates didn't want it even more than you. I mean, why is that? Why when you're younger, yeah, your mates, for some reason, want you to kiss your girlfriend more than you do? But yeah, compare it to year 11 at prom or school disco, most of the year 11 girls are gonna go out of older boys. So most of the time, their boyfriends don't go to the school. And it's usually some 18 year old boy who drives a Corsa and picks her up from McDonald's because he's a certified nonce. But oh, we don't see it like that, because it's a three year gap. So Ben, you're gonna kiss Molly tonight then, yeah? I dunno, yeah, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? You've been going out for ages now and tonight's the perfect night. We're at the school disco. Yeah, I know, but I haven't really spoke to her properly in real life yet. It's always been over Snapchat. Oh, come on, mate, it'll be fine. Don't you want to kiss her? Of course I do. Well, look, she's standing over there. Why don't you go over there now and speak to her? On. What are you waiting for? All right, I'm going. I'm going. Um, hi, Molly. Oh, <laughs> uh, hi, Ben. Um, are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> uh, are, are you? Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, go on, just kiss her! What? Charlie, what are you doing? Yeah, go on, kiss, 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 what do you mean you can't pick me up after? I thought you was gonna take me to McDonald's. I'm sorry, babe. I've just got other things to do. Oh my god, man, you're a bang out of order, you know. What about that bottle of Glenn's you was gonna get me and my mates? How am I meant to get that now? Look, Becky, my nan's just been put in hospital. I'm driving up to see her. I can't see you, I'm sorry. Wow, you really need to get your priorities straight, fam. I'm sorry? You're 18 years old going out with a danky girl in year 11. You're worried about your fing nan. She's gonna die soon, anyways, bruv. Allow it. Oh, I can't have this convo with you anymore. I'll see you later. Whatever. You fing neek. Oh, you're so jarring, man. I like he's a nerd. Oh my days, boo, he's the wettest Donnie ever. Don't listen to him, baby girl. You could do so much better. Who cares that he drives and he's older? Word, you know that, innit? And besides, his piece ain't even that big. Definitely not the biggest I've seen, and I've seen a lot. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we both have hashtag twinning. Uh, I'd never stand you up like that, Becky. Ugh, what? Did you say something? 
Oh my days, man, that's a crease. You didn't actually think you could chat to my girl, did you? Oh my god, you're actually so sad. It's quite cute, you know. Tom, you're only my prom date by the fool. You're actually bare butters, you know. I lie. <laughs> I lie. <laughs> no offense, though. I know it's because you already have a boyfriend that doesn't come to the school and drives an 08 Corsa. 09, actually. And he's just got a spoiler put on the back of the car as well. It's bare hard. Yeah, well, I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, well, don't. Hold on, wait, Becky. This could be your chance to show Stephen what he's missing. Use Tom to make him jealous. Oh, my days, boo, you're so right. Sherman sure, more important than his dying fucking nan. And besides, what's another dick in my mouth gonna do? They say once you pass double figures, it don't count anyways. Trust me, bitch. <laughs> Hey Tom, do you want me to give you top in the school toilets? Um, uh, 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 um, um, oh, it's not a hard question, man. Yes or no? Um, yeah, yes, I guess. All right, good. Come on then. Oh, and I'm gonna need you to film it as well so I can send it to my boyfriend. But make sure you get good angles in it. I don't want my highlight looking booky AF, you know. Um, yeah, sure. Good. Let's go. Now next up is the DJs. When you're younger, the music that is played at the <laughs> at the things is like Cha Cha Slide, YMCA, basically like typical kids disco stuff. And you just know that DJ is hating his job. Like, what person actually likes to get paid to play kids music at a kids disco and he's not even a DJ? How dare himself call himself a DJ? Like, what is he doing? No, he's playing a CD, that's all he's doing. Versus compare it to year 11 prom, you just know, yeah, them DJs think they're sick. They think they're literally like up there with like the biggest DJs in the world. Like they think they're going to a DJ Ibiza when they call down to the second you school down the road. So like imagine me like down a pub or something. Oh yeah, what'd you do? Oh yeah, I'm a DJ. I swear, yeah, my cousin's a DJ. Oh yeah, he DJs in like all the big clubs in London. He's DJ in Ibiza. Where about you DJ? Oh yeah, couple second year schools in West London. Come again? <laughs> Right kids, coming up for you next is Bob the Builder. Can he fix it? I don't know, can he? We'll soon find out. <laughs> Fucking kids. Excuse me, um, Mr. DJ? Hello, uh, Mr. DJ, excuse me. What? Um, could you play the, the YMCA next, please? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I'll play it soon. <laughs> Little prick, that ain't happening. I'll decide what I'll play. Um, could you not play it now? No, I can't play it fucking now. The machine don't work like that, mate. Now, fuck off. Oh, okay. Um, well, what other songs do you have? Do you have the Cha Cha Slide? My nan used to love that song. Well, why don't you f*** off home then and get your nan to play it? Cos I ain't doing it, mate. I would do, but I, I can't. She died the other day. <sighs> Listen here, you little cunt. I couldn't give two f***s if your nan died. By the way, our grandson turned out. She probably fucking deserved it, the old bat. Oh, and by the way, don't bother praying for her, because there's no such thing as an afterlife. She's brown bed, mate. Gone forever and ever. Never to be seen again. So next time you think about irritating someone by asking, Meh, can you play this song, meh? In that whiny fucking little voice of yours, you best think twice, because if you had caught me on a bad day, I'd have smashed that Budweiser bottle right over your fucking canister, you soppy little c Why's the music stopped? Oh. Ha <laughs> This goes out to all the ladies tonight. <laughs> you keep their booties bouncing. And you keep them boys wanting. Come on. Excuse me, mate. Could you play some Drake next? A bit of the old drizzy drizzy drake. Hey, gotcha. Anything for my main man. <laughs> right, cheers. Right, guys and girls, we don't discriminate around here. Next up is a bit of drizzy 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 drake. Requested by yours truly. Big up, my brother. Woohoo! It's there. Hey, guys, hey, guys. 
Get in for a Snapchat video, get in! No? Ah, you're a camera shy, I guess. Guess it's just me, Danny DJ, bringing you the hottest tunes for the 2010s and up. Forget, forget, stay locked. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> So what are we saying after then? Anyone got a free house? My mum and dad are out for the weekend, but I've got no drink. That's alright, I've got a bare drink at mine. We just have to make a pit stop. Yo, yo guys, what's everyone saying? Where's the after party at? Um, we're just going back to Bella's. Going back to Bella's! Cool, cool. Well, I was um thinking uh, I could come back and bring my decks if you like. Um, nah, you're right, mate. Cool, cool. Bella, I must say you're looking fire tonight. Um, aren't you like 35? 34 actually, but if it's 16 and above, it's legal, sucker. <laughs> Am I right? Pound it. See you later, mate. Of course, of course. <laughs> Don't get too messy. Enjoy the night, guys. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> and then last but not least, the thing that changes is the dancing. You know, when you're younger, dancing isn't cringe. Dancing, for some reason, is so easy. You can literally be like hopping up and down. That's literally all you do when you're younger. You just jump and, oh yeah, that's sick, dancing. However, compare it to when you're older, you start dancing, mate, and you can't actually dance. Oh, so cringe. What are you doing? Oh. Damn, Breski. Look at all these cheekers, man. It's like I'm in junk heaven. I know right, G-Dem. All the gal them that look broke up in school hours are looking like totes, loose up, slagger roonies, G. G, man. We have to shag at least five chicas minimum tonight. It's the pure code for being the ultimate lad. I know right, my broski G-Star, but how? <gasps> I know. Uh, um, JJ. Why did I think of this before, fam? You're the ultimate shag magnet. What? You really think so, broski? Defo, G-Dem. Your dance moves are totes, litty fam. Different team all in the fire squad to put you out, G. Wow, bro, them. Thanks a lot. I didn't think I had that sort of caliber, G. This time I might try to get six cheekers on the shag train instead of five, G, because you think I'm such a boss ass bro. A hundred percent a Rooney family. Right, here's the plan to get the cheekers' attention. You go into the dance floor and bust some freaking fire moves, G. Okay, G. Then once the cheekers are soaking wet from your totes litty dance moves, Ram, they'll be lining up one by one to shag you. Dancing G, cheekers wanna suckle on your D. No, Frank and Wabersky! That's it, I'm on it G, see you on the side man. You go G. Oh, also, let Brodem get sloppy Sekaroonies fam. Of course Brodem, of course. Right, it's freaking on like Donkey Kong G. Hey guys, old Joshy boy's about to bust some fire moves for them. DJ, play that track. Oh my god, he's so fit. I can't believe he can dance like that. Trust me, boo. I wouldn't have even paid attention to him before, but now I know he can dance, all of a sudden he's bare buff. Damn, broski. That's some totes litty fire moves, fam. You're definitely the hottest G in this crib. Thanks, G-Star. Been practicing this one for weeks. Check this out. Oh, he's the coolest G out here. Not gonna lie, this ain't half bad for a school prom. I uh, know, mate. You think the teachers would be shit at the party, but it's actually going off. Hi, hi. How are we, fellas? What are you two so stiff for? There you are. You've been gone missing for the past two hours. Where'd you go? Oh, I went to take a massive shit in the toilet. My mum done me a curry last night and went straight through me. I think I passed out in there as well or something, because I was in there for time. Right. But it's all good, though. We're here now, aren't we? Bruv, you're f how many drinks you had? I swear you only had two beer tokens. What? I've only had two drinks, mate. I'm fucking like tipsy at best. <laughs> I'll leave it out, mate. You're hammered. No chance you've only had two. Oh, alright then. I'll tell a lie. I've had one and a half. You happy now? The sad thing is he's probably telling the truth. Yeah, true. I forgot he was a massive lightweight. Anyways, boys, what are you standing here for? Let's go for a dance. What? No. In it? F*** that. No one's even dancing. Oh, what? You two are so boring, man. It's a party. Come on. Listen, mate. I think you should have a sit down and we'll get you some water. No. If you two don't want to dance with me because you ain't my mates, I'm just going to go ask Mindy Saunders if she wants to dance with me. No, bruv. Don't. You're going to embarrass yourself. You don't even chat to her like that. So what? It's a first time for everything. 
We really should stop him. Yeah, we should, but I can't really be asked. Yeah, I know. I saw that earlier. <laughs> You're right, Mindy, babe. I was uh, wondering if you want to go for a little dance, you know, a little boogie. Um, considering I barely know you, I'm alright, thanks. Oh, fine. You're so boring. I guess I'll just go by myself then. Maybe you, that's missing out. Hey, DJ, play me something. Oh my god. Have a look. What the fuck is he doing? Anyways, that was the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. Let's see if we can smash 40,000 likes. It'd be much appreciated. Subscribe today to Johnny Kesrami. And uh, yeah, goodbye. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me, it's your loss. They